Hey guys, what's up? This is OK Pop Justin. So today uh, released uh, the BTS meal at McDonald's. So I'm very hungry. So we're gonna go and get a meal at McDonald's. Specifically the BTS meal. Okay, so apparently I've heard a few things. Um, so apparently the BTS meal, there's some places apparently where they're not, there's supposed to be like a, like a purple like package with the McNuggets as well as like a purple, well not a purple bag, but a BTS McDonald's bag and a purple, you know, cup too. So apparently this, um, a friend of mine told me there's like a, maybe like a neighborhood that, that a neighborhood, <laughs> my friend told me there was a neighborhood that did not do it, you know, which is, you know, Hialeah, Miami. <laughs> um, which is, it's pretty, I mean, it's not like, I wouldn't say it's not a bougie place um, to go and probably get a BTS meal. But I'm gonna go and try to find around my area to see if I get a purple package because apparently there's some place, some, I also seen people in TikTok that have not even received a purple package for some reason and that's supposed to be part of the BTS meal. I, I just feel like if it's a BTS meal, it needs to come with the complete thing or else it's just a scam, honestly. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna head to McDonald's and I'll see you in the next, you'll see me in the next clip. Yes, uh, I'd like to order uh, the BTS meal. Okay, what's the drink? Uh, Coke, medium. Would that be on? Uh, yes, please. BTS No, I got the BTS meal. The BTS meal? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Uh, okay, okay. You want sauce? Uh, yeah, it comes with the sauce, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, yes. The Coke, medium Coke. Can I get the Cajun sauce? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Alright, thank you. It. Where's the purple cup? Where is the car purple cup? Where's the bag with the BTS symbols, huh? These are very important. My receipt too. Okay, here is the sauce. The Cajun sauce, which is have been punctured. I don't know if you can see it, but it has been punctured. Like, who the f does that? Focus, 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 focus. As you can see, it's been punctured. Like, really now? Nani? Really now? And then they add the tangy barbecue one, which is really not part of the BTS meal. And here's the sweet chili. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? Now it's better. In the video, I don't know if you guys said, but he, the, there was no Cajun sauce. So I had to ask for Cajun sauce because that's where it came with. I guess people were not aware of the what it came with. So sweet chili. So I have and apparently I have strawberry preserves, which why? 
two Cajun sauce and three sweet chilies. So I'll put this to the side and came with a basic, you know, packaging of the chicken McNuggets. Where is the purple packaging? Ugh. Wait, I need this later for the trash. Okay, well anyways, the whole point is to test try the sweet chili and the Cajun sauce because apparently these are only exclusive to Korea. Um, this is the first time they debuted in the United States, which I don't know, for some reason, I mean, I've been to Korea, but I never tried any of these uh, sauces. Uh, I never ordered chicken and nuggets. I always ordered like the Shanghai burger, you know, that's amazing. I should make a TikTok of this. Okay, I did not get a BTS uh, bag. Um, and also I did not get a BTS package of the McNuggets. But at least give me the sweet chili sauces. But I had to ask for the Cajun ones because the guy didn't even bother putting them there. And I got a normal, normal McDonald's cup and so the purple the purple cup even says here the BTS meal with one sweet chili sauce and one Cajun sauce and one small coke and literally they were about to scam me they were about to scam me okay they were not gonna put the Cajun sauce but they gave me like a freaking barbecue tangy sauce like excuse my rant so the time to try the sweet chili Ooh, sweet chili. Also, I want to showcase the packaging. Oh my god, this is too much brightness. Yeah, you can see. It also has it in Korean. Sweet chili. That's pretty much it. And then for the Cajun, here's the Cajun sauce. Uh, it's Cajun. Cajun. Ooh, it's a yellow sauce. So, uh, sweet chili, oops, shit. <laughs> and then Cajun, it's yellow. Okay, also, I don't, I, I don't really normally eat chicken nuggets for McDonald's, I always order burgers. So, you know, that's probably why. Okay, so, ah! I keep getting my hands on it. Open it completely. Okay. Okay, so here's sweet chili and Cajun right here. So let's try the sweet chili. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good. It really is like, you know, it's kind of spicy, but it's sweet too. Oh my God, this is actually really good. I, like if I were order McNuggets, I'm gonna, that'll be my first choice. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. This is so good, oh my God. Okay, now for the Cajun sauce. Dip that in there, see. Mm. All right, the Cajun flavor kind of kicks in afterwards because for some reason, when I first tasted it, it tasted like like honey mustard, <laughs> like mustard or honey mustard, and then like the Cajun flavor kicks in afterwards. So it's actually not bad. It's so weird how I never tried these flavors in Korea, but then again, I don't eat you know chicken and nuggets like ever, really. So you know. But you know, the best sauces of uh, these two is the sweet chili. Like, I guarantee it. Mm. Literally, it has like that taste of Korea, that Korean flavor. Not like actual Korean, but like, you know, 
the modernized Korean. I don't know how to explain it, but it tastes so good. All right, let's try with the fries, why not? Mm-hmm. Okay, it's actually not bad, actually, with the fries. Mm. Wow, so good. Okay, now let's try with Cajun, which it probably might taste like Popeye's fries. <laughs> let's see. Hmm. This doesn't have like a a wow factor to this. Well, I guess I don't know why the guy didn't want to put Cajun sauce. It was really not worth it. <laughs> but I still don't want to be conned from my food. But anyways, these are really good. To be honest, I was expecting a photo card. <laughs> because you know, it's K pop, you know, BTS. Of course, there's no photo cards. I'm not gonna do that for the American. They don't wanna give us anything for free in the West here. But honestly, I would recommend the sweet chili. It's like the best sauce, <laughs> honestly, out of these. Oh, good thing they gave me, they gave me three. Thank you for watching my uh, taste test of the BTS meal. You know, it's pretty basic, but the sauces are like pretty much like the biggest thing about this meal. Um, the sweet and chili sauce is like the best one. Uh, pretty much like all the sauces <laughs> of McDonald's. And good thing that they brought it here to the United States. Um, but yeah, uh, apparently like my McDonald's didn't have the, um, like the purple, uh, Packaging didn't have like the purple cup or you know the the bag with the BTS uh, logo on it, but I don't know, I guess I'll find Find one and have to hunt them down or maybe they just didn't have that much print and maybe they're like behind Shipping schedule maybe well anyways hope you guys enjoy this video Like comment subscribe follow me my social media links down in the description below and I'll see you guys next time peace out Peace out. <laughs> bye bye. Hey guys, what's up? This is Justin again. I have an announcement. I have started a new project and so far it's been going pretty well. I have a special preview of this project and I hope you guys will like it. So, <laughs> I don't know, wait. Uh, well, let me just explain it first because I'm, I'm kind of like going crazy right here. So I started my own podcast now, uh, a video podcast. Um, I am currently trying to figure out things with this podcast, but I'm going to be releasing them on my YouTube channel and it's going to be called the Neon East Podcast. It will, it will be published in this channel. I will not be making a, a different channel for that, but I do have a separate Instagram for it. So I want you guys to check it out. So here is a preview of the jingle opening. And Everything that you see there, I made it by myself 100%. Well, the music, it's uh, royalty free, uh, but it's kind of hard to find, so hopefully no one really gets it. Also, I would like to show you uh, a clip of the first episode. I did like a lot of J-pop back in the day before I got into K-pop, so. Yeah, um, I think, you know, we all started out as weebs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah we did. I actually think there's two ways into K-pop. So yes. you're either gonna go the, the K drama route mm -hmm. or you're gonna go the anime J pop K pop route. Mm -hmm. Which it's interesting because the, the K drama route is like not like you have to be looking for it. You know what I mean? Sure. Like it's accessible as like anime. 
mm-hmm. uh, has been over the past, you know, like 20 years. Um, so like K dramas, like you really have to. I think maybe you started with Japanese Ooh. dramas. I don't know. You know, like I, so I always uh, was surprised by the K drama route. Well, I would say with with our generation of mm-hmm. of K pop fans, it was harder, much yeah. harder. But now there is Netflix. Oh yeah, and yeah, you could just cool. watch. You go to the romance section. Yeah. I always see yeah. the romance section, and it has its own section, which is great. I'm so happy about that. Yeah. But when I was when I was there, like. I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a website called My Soju, and they had everything, every Asian country (laughs) that you could think of was on there. It was beautiful. And that's it. The first episode will be premiering July 1st. Yay! Each episode uh, so far, I only have a few episodes, but if you guys want to know about any future stuff, any recommendations, any discussion topics, I will talk about them. These podcasts are pre-recorded, but I've been thinking of doing one, I mean, (laughs) doing like a few episodes probably on my Twitch channel, uh, which, yeah, I have a Twitch channel now, so I'll just, you know, leave this here i also i'll leave like the screen name here <laughs> yeah so as of right now i'm doing a uh, video podcast uh, i'm doing video podcasts uh pre-recorded um if i could do like a live stream version um i'll have to see in the future about that but as of right now i already have these episodes already waiting every thursday new episodes uh for i guess like I guess I have only had like five or six episodes now, so I'll have six episodes already for like the rest of the summer. <laughs> Hope you guys look forward to this. Um, I just want to try something new, you know, new content, and I want to know if you guys will enjoy it. It'll be interesting. It's not just only K-pop, but I'm gonna be talking about other things that interest me, other issues that pertain to like you know, I guess Eastern like pop culture and eastern uh, media and all that stuff so um there will be some anime i'm gonna be talking about mostly demon slayer but <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it and maybe talk about uh studying abroad because i'm gonna i'm t- I'm, t- I'm like trying to like get you guys pumped up because you know i have studied abroad i have friends that study abroad we're having a whole discussion on how to do it so look forward to that episode too like comment subscribe follow my social media link is down in the description below and take it next time peace out bye bye